Did you want water? Water? You guys like it? I love it. Someone told me that it looked really good in it. Let's see if I can put it on like how I'll wear it. But yeah, you guys look how freaking amazing this bag is. Freaking love it. So here is the orange version of the bag, the orange smaller version. It's called the brick bag, by the way. But yeah, I still like the bigger version. But the smaller version is really cute. So this tote, I'm gonna get this tote too, because my YSL one always folds in. So I'm not going to be using that one, but I love this Prada one. It's like so, um, how do you say, like it's like constructed or it's, I don't know, it just doesn't fold or whatever when it's empty. I love it, it's so durable. <laughs> like ridiculous, but whatever. Alright you guys, I got my bag but i have to go to the win to pick up um the brick bag so i'll see you guys when i'm there <laughs> all right you guys so i got my two prada bags and i got the second one right now so i will let you guys know when i unbox it Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are gonna do another luxury unboxing videos. And I know, I know some of you guys like it, some of you guys don't. Some of you guys think it's like, you know, show offy. But I don't know, I like watching these videos just just for fun. I, it's just entertaining to watch. And I've heard, I mean, people come up to me and they're like, I find your life so fascinating. You need to make more videos. And I'm like, Okay, so here we are. <laughs> I'm gonna be like looking down at the floor a lot because that is where my laptop is and that is where the viewfinder, that's how I'm like looking at the monitor. So I guess we should just jump in to the things that I got. First thing that I'm going to be showing you guys is this um, cardigan. It is a acne cardigan. I'm wearing like sweats. And it's sort of like, I oh, it's so, it's so comfortable, you guys. Honestly, I feel like I look like a grandpa in it. But it's so, it, I mean, the material is its just amazing. It feels, it feels and wears amazing. And I saw this Instagrammer, I, I'll try to link his um, Instagram. And he wore like a, like I think it's a black version of it. I actually bought it too. And um, it's amazing also. So I got like the camel version and I got the black version. So for sizing for acne, I'm normally a size small and I wanted something a little bit oversized and so for the black I actually got this in a like, what did I get this in? I'm pretty sure I got this, yeah, 
I got this in medium and it's a little bit too oversized. The name of the cardigan is called a relax cardigan so I should have just like knew that it was going to be oversized already. So the small is already oversized as you can tell. So it's oversized. So if you're gonna, if you want to get like a super relaxed, really nice, high quality um, cardigan, I would highly suggest an acne cardigan. Next, um, oh, maybe I'll just show all the acne things that I got. So I got this um, turtle neck piece. I love this one. It just looks great under a sweater. Not a sweater, like a coat. <laughs> and I love, I, I don't know, I love it. More acne, more acne. I got a regular cardigan from Acne. And uh, this one is just, yeah, regular, regular thin cardigan. I didn't own a black cardigan until now. So um, I've been wearing this a lot. I mean, I just literally throw on, I'm wearing a white tank top. Tank tops from G Star Raw. They make a really great tank tops if you guys wanted to know that. I basically wear like a white tank top or like a black tank top and I just throw this on and I'm good to go. Love it. Love cardigans. Super easy to wear. Acne jeans, you guys. Okay, so I went in, I was like looking for a pair of like straight jeans. The straight jeans are like really in right now and I love them because they're super comfortable to wear. They're not like really tight. I tried like their 19, I forgot what it's called, 1991 jeans. It looked sh like a straight jean and it was like way too big. Like I don't, I don't understand like how, why it was really big. But it was like way too big. The river jeans, I, th I think the description for the river jeans is that it's like a, it's not skinny fit, but I think it's like a slim fit. I think it's a slim fit. It's like slim fit and tapered and oh my gosh, you guys, like this, these jeans like fit like a dream. If you are five, eight, five, nine, these jeans are in a 30, I'm a 30, 32. So if you want jeans that like, if you want the original hem and you want it to like hit your ankle and not like, you know, have it like sag, whatever, then I would highly recommend getting um, the River jeans from Acne in a 30, 32, well, if you're a size 30. But if you're a 5'8", five, 5'9 five, person, get it in the length 32. And it's like as if it was professionally hem, but it's like the original hem. I also got it in black because, you know, black jeans, you need them. So I think that is it from my Acne. Haul. We're gonna do some things that I got from Palace. And I got this hoodie from Palace. I used to like wear Thrasher a lot and I just wanted, I don't know. I saw Palace through like Kylie Jenner's Instagram like five years ago. So Palace is basically like a very very high, like highly high elevated. I think it's like same level as Supreme. I don't don't crucify me if I'm wrong. They have a palace store in LA. I went to the palace store in New York. So I got this hoodie and it's like a tie dye and it's like oversized and it has like these really cool, like it's kind of, you know, raw hem. If that's how you said that that's the word for it. Um, yeah, so that was really cool. The next thing I got from Palace is a crew neck. And I really, I wear this one like a lot, you guys. I just wear this a lot so it's like inside out. It's just a basic black crew neck. And it just has like the palace um, logo there. And it's like, if you know, I don't know if you can tell, it's like a little bit shiny um, with the silver part. And the back has the logo just like in big. It's good for just like dressing down. I like wear this with like black jeans, wear this with sweats and then, and then a beanie and then I'm like good to go. Next, this one is pretty amazing. This is a Balenciaga shirt. This is actually in a size small and Balenciaga, their sizing is, I think it's like Vetmont where it's like oversized. So like a small is not as small, it's actually, it's more like a large, 
but um yeah so when i wear it's like it's cool i i like it, it has like balenciaga yeah it has like balenciaga all over it. it has like this raw hemming detail all over so i basically style this with like a white tank top sometimes or like long sleeve white shirt and then you like you scrunch it up and yeah so style it many different ways but i really really do love this balenciaga um, shirt i got these sunglasses from might be too bright i got these sunglasses from velvet canyon these are pretty cool these are like my cool sunglasses where it's like where i want to like look different i mean I, I just feel cool in these. Kendall Jenner wears um, these sunglasses specifically. These are called the Zubisu. They're called the Zubisu in black. They've always been sold out on these pairs. Be well, probably because Kendall Jenner wears these and not everyone wants to wear them. Yeah, I love these sunglasses. I wear them. I mean, if I was going to wear... I would wear it down, basically. So I'd wear it like, with my... Um, wear it like this. I'll show you guys what, <laughs> like how I wear it. So I would wear it with like my crew neck and I'd just be like, you know, dressed down and uh, I don't know, like looking cool or if I feel like I look cool. But, <laughs> but um, this is just how I wear. This is, this is what I wear. If you guys know me, you know, this is actually pretty casual. The next pair of sunglasses that I got, and these are more these are more of my everyday sunglasses. Um, these are the, the Porsche Design Aviators. And I wore these every day while I was in Hawaii. And they are just... They are the bomb, you guys. These are the mecca of aviators, I would say. I, I don't know how else to describe them. They just feel, have like a good weight on them and they just look super sleek. I got them in the, I, I got them when I was at um, LEX at the duty, duty free um, area in Tom Bradley. I got them in the silver. I like the silver um, rim and I just think that they look super sleek. I mean like if I wore, I could wear this out right now and I, I would still feel polished sleek on. I just have to like brush my hair. I think that's it for accessory and clothes. So let's move on to these shoes, you guys. This is my, this is my dream. This is my dream. I've always wanted Saint Laurent boots since I was in high school. I mean, if you know me, I love wearing boots and I would like get like all types of boots and like Urban Outfitters in high school, H&M, Zara, but I've always uh, had like my eye out on Saint Laurent. Like once, like when I can afford it, guys, these boots are amazing. So these are the Lucas boots. Yeah, these are the Lucas boots in suede and they have this I'm, I'm always, I'm a huge fan of, um, like, chunky, chunky heels. I mean, they're, like, almost cowboy boots, essentially. Uh, but, um, you guys, these Saint Laurent boots, they're so comfortable. I mean, in comparison to, like, H&M, Zara, and, and all that, they feel different. They look different on my, um, on my feet. Like, they just, they look expensive because look at this like contouring when I see boots that like really contour to your ankle I already like know when I see guys with like boots that like are really contoured to their ankle and aren't like huge I instantly know that they're really high quality boots and it, it just looks absolutely polished because that's like one of my pet peeves is like when I wear boots um, when I would you see at them like H&M Zara top man and all that like the ankle area used to like flare out so it just didn't it didn't look refined or polished but all of these all I mean all of the Saint Laurent boots that I think they really just contour to your ankle and it just looks 
absolutely sleek. I actually have another pair of Saint Laurent boots. These are the Jeux de Purs. Um, these are actually, like, I, I, I wear these a lot and they're dirty and ugh. I wore these out. People were like spilling drinks on it and yeah, it's like, yeah, I don't know if you guys can tell. I mean, I don't really, I'm not the type of person that's like, oh my god, like, I need to protect my shoes at all times. I'm, I'm actually very like careless in that way where I'm like, oh, whatever, but I should probably take care of these more. My foot is asleep. The next purchase are um, Gucci loafers. Where? Oh, here they are. And these are the Gucci loafers that I have been wearing a lot. These are like my go-to's lately. I need to just like leave right now and I like in sweats or whatever. What I like about them is that they fold so you can wear it as a loafer or you can wear it as a like slipper. I love these. They are just super easy to wear and just if if you know if you know Gucci, you know you know they're loafers. So here's my here's my thing about Gucci, you guys. Okay, I am not a huge fan of Gucci, and don't hate me for this. I I just think that their their brand is too it's it's too young and it's too too poppy. It's it's like too like in your face kind of brand and I mean you could see it like the, the younger young new money generation like really loves Gucci and I like these loafers but I didn't they have some loafers I think they have loafers where it's like where it just it says like Gucci and stuff and I'm just I'm not a fan of that if you know Gucci then you would know these loafers but if you don't know Gucci you probably think that these are like from I don't know, Zara or H&M or something, which I'm fine with. I know because I can, I feel the difference. Um, that's why I like it. It's, it. I wanted something discreet. I didn't want something that was like, sh that like showed off that this was Gucci. I just wanted something like simple and pretty discreet. I, that's my thing about Gucci. I, I just, I'm not a fan of like the the loudness of it, like the Gucci, 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 like that, that's just, that's just not my type of style. So that's my little rant about Gucci. I think we have to address the elephant in the room right next to me. You guys, first of all, let me, let me explain, let me explain the history of this bag. So I actually went to Las Vegas. I was looking for a, a bag. I already knew what I wanted. I wanted the Galleria tote in large and black and I wanted the, the brick bag in a medium also in black. I was actually looking for the blue too but he so associated in Las Vegas told me like the, the blue is only for like the Asian market or whatever so I was kind of bummed about that but I was like okay I want the black. So I, I got it and then when I opened it because I, I didn't wear it while I was out there um but when I opened it back at home, and I opened it like with like sunlight coming down on the bags or whatever, there was a legit like mark on the brick bag, and there was a scratch on the on the tote, and I was like, oh no, like I'm I'm not gonna keep these. I went to Rodeo Drive on New Year's Eve, but, like I sh drove straight there like right away. So I'm literally so bummed I have to return both of my new Prada bags because I noticed that there's like a stuff on it. So bummed. So I have to wait until Thursday and they're gonna get me a new one. Uh, they're really really helpful and the guy's um, name is Todd. So associate from Prada at Rodeo. He um, I, I told him the problem with like the scratches and he's like oh okay like well what we can do is I can order the bags, um, brand new, untouched. All we want is like 100% customer satisfaction and for products like these, like you, you know, obviously you want something in pristine condition when you buy it. So it's like, I'll order you um, the new bags untouched. Oh my God, so perfect. This is, this is a great one. Oh, wow. Just like so perfect. Around town. Beautiful. 
and yeah, so that is it. I actually got it um, yesterday. I picked it up yesterday at Rodeo. And the bag that he actually gave it in, in Las Vegas, they gave me two separate bags. One um, shopping bag for the Galleria, and then one uh, shopping bag for the brick bag. Um, but then here he was like, I'm just gonna give you the, the big bag and I'm like okay so I'm fine with that and then I was like oh my gosh this I was like walking around Rodeo and people were like what did that guy buy all right you guys you want to see something super ridiculous I just picked up my bags at Prada and look how like huge this like Prada bag is you guys <laughs> oh my <God. laughs> um but yeah I felt super obnoxious with this bag but, I mean, look how this is freaking Massive, you guys. Let me open it for you guys. I actually already wore the brick bag because I couldn't find it. I'm actually surprised that um, Prada doesn't like, have boxes for their bags. Usually, like Louis Vuitton and Fendi, they have um, a box, um, a cardboard box that they put the bag in. But um, Prada, they it's just in a in a dust bag, which is I guess more um, economic, economically friendly. I don't know, but I was like, okay, whatever, it's fine. Um, so let's, this, well, I already like opened it and stuff, but I'm gonna pretend that I did not open it for the sake of this video. So this, oh my gosh, you guys, this bag, this bag is absolutely amazing. So. Hey you guys, so I know it's a little bit weird because now I'm like wearing a different outfit. Let me explain. So when I was shooting the video, um, I didn't realize that the camera turned off. So when I was editing the video like a couple days ago, the like the footage wasn't there. So I'm like, oh my gosh, the camera turned off while I was unboxing the Prada bags. So I'm just going to reshoot this part. Um, and just hope that the camera doesn't die again. But I'm looking at the viewfinder right now and I'm seeing that I'm like blinking 13% like battery left on the camera. So I'm just gonna like go into it, okay? Just forget that this just happened. So what I was um, about to show you guys was my new Prada bags that I got. So um, let me show you guys. Bring it over here. I'm still like in shock every time that I see this bag even though I've like, I've already used it. So, this is the brick bag. And I got it in black. I actually wanted this in blue, but I didn't know that the blue bag was like only for, like they only sell it in the Asian market. So I was kind of bummed about that. I think they said like the only store that had it near America was like in Toronto, but the black is still really, really, really nice. And obviously it's like a classic color that goes well with everything. And it really reminds me of the re-edition that you see everyone wearing, except this is like, I feel like this is the men's version of the re-edition because it just looks like a classic Prada bag with this really nice handle. So it's like easy to like take around with you and it has like, the classic um, Prada logo right there in the front. And I love, love, love the material of the bag. It is like the Louis Vuitton one that I have. It's a very durable material. So in the back, it has like two openings. In the back is like a flat opening. And so I like put my passport it's not my passport, it's my international driver's license. But I do put my passport in here. And then in the front, I'm just gonna do a what's in my bag. I guess we'll, we're just gonna do a what's in my Prada brick bag. So in, in the front, it's a bigger um, opening compartment. So what I put in my bag <laughs> is the Velvet Canyon sunglasses that I was talking about earlier. Because I wear them a lot. Makes me feel cool. I mean, you guys probably think I look lame or whatever. I got this L'Occitane um, hand cream because I have dry hands all of the time. This is a Prada receipt. 
Yep, a Prada receipt. Fun, fun, fun stuff. This is the Louis Vuitton wallet. This is the Louis Vuitton wallet that I got while I was in Paris. So definitely, like, love this. Love it. It just reminds me of when I was in Paris and like, shopping there. I have this K.R. Weiss lip balm. It's really good, really good. And last thing is my AirPods, and I cannot live without these. Need music with me 24-7 wherever I go. Keeps me entertained. But yeah, so that's what I keep in the Prada brick bag. And everything goes in like so. And I don't usually put my phone in my bag, because I'm always like, have it in my hand. But normally I do have like a portable battery charger thing, but um, I'll have it with me right now. I've been using it for a couple of days and I absolutely love it. And it's just easy, like when I'm like on the go, I just like grab it by the handle. I don't have to like grab it by its strap. And it's a great, great size. It's not like huge. So let me show you guys. It's like the perfect size. Like literally the perfect, I'm all, like doing like a weird stance. Moving on, and we have 5% left, you guys. I only have 5% left on my camera. Ah, okay, so next is the Galleria Tote in large. And let's open it. Oh gosh, I just hit myself with a strap. Oh gosh, I just hit myself with a strap. Alright, so opening it up, stunning. Right, you guys? Stunning. And you can see how structured it is, and it like doesn't lose shape when stuff isn't inside. Let me show you. It actually has stuff in inside right now. Let me take that out. Alright, so yeah, see? Still holds shape. Do like a 360. Still holds shape. And, uh, and it's Almost like the big brother to the um, smaller one that I have. I mean, I'm gonna be wearing this pair at the airport, so if people probably saw me be like, "What the heck, is that guy? Like, what's going on over there?" But I don't know. I feel on. I feel on. Okay. Again, the same material, just a very durable leather, and um, that is what it looks like inside. Very spacious. Very, very spacious. But yeah. So. That is the large Galleria tote. Yeah, so those are my product purchases. Um, that was the last part that I was shooting. But I hope you guys liked this video. Um, hit that like button. Leave a comment. If you have any questions about um, some of the items that I showed you guys, shoot me a DM. Um, I will answer back and um, subscribe, ring the bell for notification, um, follow me on Instagram at Peterson Sim. I hope you guys like this video. Um, I'll see you guys in my next one. All right? Bye!